Hey guys, remember the thrill of watching Prison Break? Those heart-pounding moments, the intense drama, and of course, the incredible cast that made us fall in love with the series. Well, today we're taking a trip down memory lane to see where our favorite stars from Prison Break are now. Spoiler alert, they've come a long way since their daring escape. First up, we have the brilliant Wentworth Miller, who played the genius Michael Schofield. Born in 1972, Wentworth was 33 years old when the production of Prison Break took off. Now he's 52 and still making waves in the industry. Since the show, Miller has continued his acting career with notable roles in TV series like The Flash and Legends of Tomorrow. And let's not forget about Dominic Purcell, who portrayed the rugged Lincoln Burroughs. Dominic was 35 during his time on Prison Break and is now 54, proving that age is just a number. Dominic's striking presence on screen has landed him some incredible roles post Prison Break, also appeared in The Flash and Legends of Tomorrow alongside Miller. Sarah Wayne Callies, who brought the character of Dr. Sarah Tancredi to life, has gone on to star in other successful TV shows and movies, proving her versatility as an actress. She starred in TV series like The Walking Dead and Colony, as well as films such as Into the Storm and The Other Side of the Door. She was 28 when she joined the cast of Prison Break and is now 47, looking as stunning as ever. Now let's talk about Amori Nolasco, who brought the lovable Fernando Sucre to life. Amori was 35 during filming and is now 53, continuing to captivate audiences with his charm. Post Prison Break, Nolasco has appeared in films such as Transformers and Takers, as well as TV shows like Chase and Deception. And who could forget Robert Nepper, the unforgettable teabag? Robert was 47 when he portrayed the iconic villain on Prison Break and is now 64, proving that he's still got that menacing edge. After the show, Knepper appeared in films like Jack Reacher, Never Go Back, and the Hunger Games, Mocking Jay, as well as TV series such as Heroes and Twin Peaks. Moving on to William Fichtner, who portrayed the complex Alexander Mahone. William was 48 during his time on Prison Break and is now 67, showcasing his timeless talent. Since the show, Fichtner has appeared in films like The Dark Knight and Elysium, as well as TV series like Crossing Lines and Mom. And let's not overlook the enigmatic Peter Stormare, who played John Abruzzi. Peter was 51 during filming and is now 70, continuing to captivate audiences with his commanding presence. Post Prison Break, Stormare has appeared in numerous films and TV shows, including Fargo, The Blacklist, and Arrow. Now let's talk about Rockman Dunbar, who portrayed the loyal C Note. Rockman was 32 during his time on Prison Break and is now 51, still commanding attention with his powerful performances. After the show, Dunbar continued his acting career with roles in TV shows like Sons of Anarchy and The Mentalist. And who could forget the legendary Muse Watson, who portrayed Charles Westmoreland? Muse was 57 during filming and is now 75, proving that age is no barrier to talent. Since the show, Watson has continued to act in various TV shows and films, including appearances in NCIS and Prison Break, The Final Break. Next, we have the talented Paul Edelstein, known for his role as Paul Kellerman. Paul was 36 when he joined the cast of Prison Break and is now 55, continuing to impress with his versatility. Jodie Lynn O'Keefe played the manipulative character Gretchen Morgan in the show. She was in her early 30s during her time on the show and is now in her early 40s. Since then, O'Keefe has continued her acting career with roles in TV series like Hit the Floor, as well as films such as Frozen Ground. And let's not overlook the formidable Wade Williams, who portrayed Brad Bellick. Wade was 43 during filming and is now 62, showing no signs of slowing down. 
Post-prison break, Williams continued his acting career with roles in TV series like The Mentalist and Gang Related, as well as films such as The Dark Knight Rises and Draft Day. We have Chris Vance, who brought James Whistler to life. Chris was 35 during his time on prison break and is now 52, continuing to captivate audiences with his talent. After the show, Vance appeared in TV shows like Transporter the Series and Supergirl, as well as films such as All Things to All Men. Leon Russom, who played the general Jonathan Krantz, also known as the Padman, was in his late 60s during his time on prison break and is now in his early 80s. Since the show, Russom has continued his acting career with appearances in TV series like Castle and NCIS, as well as films such as The Big Short and American Made. We can't forget about Michael Rappaport, who joined the cast of Prison Break in its fourth season as Homeland Security agent Don Self. Michael was in his late 30s during his time in the show and is now 54. Since Prison Break, Rappaport has continued his acting career with roles in TV series like Atypical and Justified, as well as films such as The Heat and The Sixth Day. And to close our list, we have Marshall Allman, who portrayed the innocent and mentally challenged L.J. Burroughs, son of Lincoln Burroughs. Marshall was 22 when he joined the cast of Prison Break, and he is now 40. Since the show, Allman has appeared in TV series like True Blood and The Killing, as well as films such as Blue Like Jazz and The Immaculate Conception of Little Dizzle. And here are some photos of other members. And there you have it, folks. The incredible cast of Prison Break, then and now. It's amazing to see how they've grown and evolved over the years. Which actor's transformation surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below.